Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Ashley Clark. And this one, I've, I've already forgotten the title of the game. It's a very long title. It's Ashley Clark and something. Uh, the Forbidden Temple? Fuck, let's go look. Secrets of the Ancient Temple, not the Forbidden Temple. Like, it, okay, look, all I know is it's an awesome puzzle game, and I'm enjoying the absolute bejesus out of it. So... Isn't that what really matters? They've made a great game. We've got a monkey in a cage. Hey, Bobo. Hey, Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. Okay. Um, I need a ladder, but I have to get a tool to get that ladder out of there. Let's go see if the real murderer, um, he's literally saying nothing else to me. Thanks, assbag. Can I pick up that bottle? Okay. It really bugs me that I can't pick up this litter and put it in the trash that also very much needs to be emptied. That bugs me to no end. You guys have no idea how much that bugs me. I can't even look at the map. Why can't I look at the map? Oh. Lamb. Nothing to see there. No secrets to... Oh, shit. No secrets to click on down there. Do I need anything else out of here? Maybe. That puzzle is no longer working. I think we have to go back to the old shed place. Uh, there's a map right there that will take me to the shed place. Let's see what we can get in here. I'm sure there's some trouble we can get into here. There's a star there. That is locked. Have yet to see... Any sort of hint on what that is. It's a neat puzzle, but it is inoperable at the moment. Alright, well, nothing there. Can't do anything with that. We can make it jiggle. Very exciting stuff there. Very exciting. We've done that. We've opened the path. The, the boarded path. We have to have some sort of tool for that. I honestly think the wing goes somewhere. I mean, obviously not there. There's, there's a gorilla arm somewhere. But it's there's got to be a statue, like a bird statue or something, missing a wing. Is there a way I can investigate that? No. All right, nothing there. I don't want that ball of yarn. Why, you may ask? Why would Merrick want to run around with a crazy ball of yarn? Not the button I wanted. Uh, resume. Don't hit the exit button. That does not exit the menu. It exits the game. Uh, I will tell you why Merrick would want to run around with a big, useless ball of yarn. It might not be useless. Cordage is very useful. I can't believe digging in there lost me. Or, uh, wait, where did my knife go? Had the thing, got the knife out of there, used the knife on something else. Right. Right. Okay. What have we got going on in here? There's got to be something in here I'm missing. That's usually what it, the way it works, is I, uh, I miss things. It doesn't even want to tell me, I need a ladder for that still. It's, it has officially given up on me, which is, which is good. Low expectations is where I like to leave everybody. So look, just don't expect too much. Why is this ladder so adamantly attached to the ground? I do not understand, and there's literally nothing else to click on, is there? Okay, well, um, can't click there anymore. Got to be missing something somewhere. That's the way these games work. Uh, also, I'm very concerned. Let's stop that. About these papers here that are on the ground that I can't touch. Why are those random papers there? I do not know. But it concerns me. Also, what angle is this? What am I standing on? I think I'm standing on a box. Like, I come into this room and I'm like, you know, I need to be on a box to be in this room. Alright. 
I honestly don't know that this is uh, an active puzzle yet. I have no others. Huh. May need to do a, a hint. I'm trying, like, clicking and dragging. But, you know. Okay, now. Strange glow, but I'll need a ladder. Uh, gorilla cage is open. Ben, the killer, says provisions stored in the stock room. Handles broken. Yeah. We got that. Oh, there, there is a statue that needs that wing. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know where the fuck that is. But we know that it exists, and it is not that. We can't click on that. What kind of lock is that? It's a very elaborate lock for a zoo. I can't do anything other than make that wiggle. And while I could sit here and make it wiggle for ages, I don't know that I want to. Alright. Nothing to see there, because we still don't know where the arm is. I don't see that puzzle in here for the wing at all. Nothing looks weird in the water. At least according to to my person. I need a ladder. Why can't I just, like, climb up there? Also, this dude is starting to stink. Can we, like... Like, how long has it have I been in this uh, crazy-ass zoo? It has to have been in, like, an hour, right? Why don't I have that? Give me that trumpet. I want to put it on that side. I'm trying to see if there's, like, anything I'm missing there. I'm afraid if I use a hint... It's just going to be like, you need a ladder. But there's nothing else to really click on. The fuck does that do? Okay. I don't see anything different in it. Wait, was it? Was it a different color? Or was it always blue? Way is not taking the hint cost. Also, I was thinking maybe get that to cut it out. All right, let's. There, I don't. I don't really know what's going on with the whole hint thing, so we're going to try it again, like, out here. What the fuck? How was I supposed to see that? Alright. The shit's invisible. Okay. Maybe it's some wood in here. I mean, it's a hacksaw. It could go for metal, but I doubt it. And I don't see why I would cut that tree down. I bet I know. Yeah! Get out of here. What the hell is the claw hammer for? Smack it with a hammer. Eh. No. That that is not going to get us what we need. Just smack the vines with a hammer. Okay. Uh 
Smack Ben with a hammer. I know he did it. I was thinking maybe knock that out and then... Bash the TV with a hammer? I'd feel better. That freak coming out of the TV like that. Nerp. Objectives. Nerp. Uh... No, we've already done that. I'll need a ladder. Close. Okay, let's go back to... We don't need to go to the car for anything, do we? Hammer my windows. Yeah, that'd be smart. Look, I'm going to try everything. I do puzzle games through brute force by literally trying every combination of... Stu oh, I kind of don't want to smash the dead guy in the face. I don't, I don't think I, this isn't that kind of game, right? They're not going to be like, hey, smash the monkey. No, 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 that would be very rude. Oh, I thought that was going to do it. It's like, why am I hitting that? Is that, is that all there is in there? Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, you got to check these things. I'm not going to pry that up. No, okay. Honestly, I don't see why I don't just go pick up the ladder. But, you know, maybe I just don't understand the way puzzles do. I'm not using another hint. That would be silly and useless. I have not actually tried. Were those eyes glowing? No, now I'm seeing shit. Now I'm just like, oh, damn, was that glowing? Although, if I did make this game, or a game like this, and there was a dead dude, and I gave you a hammer, you can bet your bottom dollar my sadistic ass would make it like, oh, you clicked on that guy, you bashed him in the face uselessly with a hammer. Also, I guess I need to click, like, yeah. Like, all these spots that I can't really see anything. Like, what would make me click there? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and do a random clicking because there's not even visual clues sometimes. It's about investigation, I guess. Also, why don't I get to keep the hammer? Oh. Interesting picture in the fountain. Looks like some sort of combination. Is that it? Also, that's a really weird way to drain that. Let's head over to here. I guess we'll start, like, there. Then there. Interesting. I wish I could get that bar out of the way. It's distracting. Can't rotate anything, right? No, no, I can't do anything like that. So it's like... No, it's got, it's got one dot on it. So if we, if we take the center arrow as the starting arrow... Actually, I feel like we'd start here. Go to the center. Go to, like, there. Back to center. Find the right combination using the arrow shown on the paper. So where do we start, and what's the combination? Can't zoom in. And 
there's five. But one of them's in the center. Was that in the game or was that outside? There's some sort of doodly 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 do. I hope you guys heard that. Also, it's weird that it, it had to know that I had the... Excuse me, let's reset that. Oh, that did not reset it, all right. Uh, that, it, that I had the paper in my hand before it would do. There's no way it's literally just do this and then spin it around. Well, I thought I'd check. All right, so if we start at the bottom here, it's that one's not connected to anything. These two point to the center. This one is pointed to. So maybe that one's the start. Then... Not straight across, but down one. So this is straight across, so we go down one. Nothing to do there. Then we just go like across from there, then across from there. Might be that one. Nope. I know horn outside. I thought that was it too. And there's no audio clue. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Yeah, no audio clue as to what the right one is. I'm assuming it's a click, not a twist. So far, there haven't been any twists or anything like that. I mean, I could be starting with the wrong one. Now we've already done that combination several times. Okay. All right, we're going to start here. We're assuming that that's to scale. That's, that's got to be like one of these two. We can say that one, which means it's this one, and that one, and that one, and then there. Like, that's straight across. Yeah, it's, that's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, right there. Because if I think I went the wrong direction. Huh. Well, that's not the way that works. Hmm. No other hints. I found an interesting picture in a fountain. It looks like some sort of combination. There's a better picture of it. So we've got an arrow that points down. Oh, what if these arrows are pointing to the ones you should use? Like, this one points to... So it's like... This is the top. One, two, three. Or one, two. points to the button I should use, which is that one. This points to that button, 
that points to like that button. This one doesn't point to anything. This one points to that button. To one of these two buttons. We'll try this one. Try this one. Uh, all right, let's let's try this again. We're starting at the center, right? Center points straight to this arrow. So that goes there. That doesn't point to anything, so we don't do anything else there. This one is one of these two, and it points straight across from itself. So we're going to say that one. This one... which is really like this one, points straight across to that one. And this one doesn't point to anything. Hmm. What if it's only ones that complement each other? Like this one there points straight across to that one, which points down to this one. Well, it's not that either. Hmm. I wonder if there's another, another clue as to the mystery of, of that one. Hmm. I don't know. It's definitely got something to do with this. So if it's if the arrows don't drive the direction, what do you think drives the direction? I feel like the arrows are like a huge, huge part of it, at least. Um, Ganta got that. Got the yeah yeah we we already we already tried the arrows pointing to the next one and we've tried just um straight up you know going after it. Like, like, just having the the arrows go after like each other. I don't know. Let's okay. It, we start at the center. The center goes straight after here. That one goes to nowhere, so it just points up to there. Then this one points to the center. Then that one points to there. Push the center. No. Okay. Not what I was thinking of, I guess. Okay. What if, what if I, it's not about the buttons? But it's about, well, no, we've already done the arrows, haven't we? Okay. I may be a little stuck. And by a little, I mean I may be very stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with... 
that one, and that one, that one, that one, and center button. I don't know. Find the right combination using the arrow shown on the paper. I'm not skipping it. I do wish they proofread it a bit more. This one's a little bit of a head scratcher. It, it feels like there's parts missing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I'm missing. Um. I'm I'm missing a, a hint. Do you think that's what it is? Maybe that's what it is. Let's let's go see if I'm missing another hint. I don't know what the hint would be because we kind of we, we've done everything unless there's like a another puzzle in here. Which does not look like there is. I don't believe I can go to the car to analyze anything else. And that trash is still there. God, that trash bugs me so much. Why would you do that, developers? Let's, let's go look at this a little closer. There's some markings over here. Does that, like, denote where it should start? I don't, I don't think it does. Then again, I don't know. Um, I mean, it could. I don't, I don't know. I'm so confused now. I've never actually had one of these where it was just so vague on, on what to do next. And then they're just like, you can skip it. And it's like, but why would I want to skip it? The puzzles are just literally part of the game. I mean, you you, you don't want to just straight skip it. You know? That's just dumb. What if we're just overthinking it? Right, it's just it's just straight for Oh. Well, uh that is not the correct answer. Hmm. Well, shit. I was actually hoping to make a little bit of progress on this game today, and now I've spent 30 minutes trying to unlock this lock. But the, the freaking arrows don't make any sense to me. I, I, I realize this is a puzzle game, but it's kind of bad game design. Kinda. I mean, there's 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 a puzzle, and then there's just a complete absence of information. And maybe I'm just stupid and whiny, but I don't like it. That being said, I am about to start on an adventure through Mist, which is the definition of a puzzle game with the absence of information, so I don't know why I'm letting this rattle me so much. It should just be a simple thing of, you know, don't be so stupid. Don't be so stupid. He's still puffing out right there. Why is he still puffing out right there? 
I don't know. Maybe he's telling me where to start. I don't think so. You're not telling me shit. You don't even know what a lock is. Much less why you're still standing here and I keep coming back and just staring at you and clicking on you furiously like, Why don't you know anything, boy? <sighs> well, we're going to wrap it up and I'm going to ponder this a bit more. Try to figure out what I'm missing. I honestly believe it has something to do with the direction of the arrows, but I think the position you start in is the one that defines how you maneuver through the lock. Like this, for this starting position, means you go here, like there to directly across, which then sends you to here, but there's no return path. So do you go here now? It sends you up to here and then tells you to hit the skip button? There's five dudes. But no instructions on the fifth dude. So does that mean there are four dudes? I mean, it could be four dudes. But I, I honestly don't think there are four dudes. There are no markings on here. I'm just overlooking, right? That kind of uh, indicate where it may go from here. Oh, there are four of these. What if it's like pointing... There isn't one there. So like that one. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense unless they're inverse and then this one would point to here. And then that one would point over here and there's nothing over there. So that that doesn't work. It could ooh, it could be mirrored. So if we mirror this Invert and mirror would be pointing to like there, there, there. There. And then there. That is not it at it as well. Oh, why are there two hint buttons? That's weird. Okay. Can't investigate that anymore. I have um, some arrows that I'm still trying to figure out what the meaning of is. And why do I need to solve these arrows to pick that letter up out of the vines? I don't know, but that ladder is stuck in those vines. And I, being a genius detective, can either not see it or pick it up. One of the four. One of the eight. It's probably 16 choices as to why, but we will figure it out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you were masochists and you love watching me make zero progress and stare at the screen going, Err. I also think that this needs to be opened and it probably gets opened by this, which then lets me open that and then pull out a stick, which has a blade on it that I can then go cut loose something, which will then fling the ladder up out of the ground and allow me to proceed but we'll figure that in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like if you have any comments suggestions some in the comment section below and of course if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed consider clicking that good old subscribe button and youtube will let you know to get fresh content out all that being said i'll see you next time